What's going on guys? Oregon Motorcycle bringing you another awesome banging episode coming to you straight out of Oregon City today, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm out today on the Talaria and I'm actually going down by the falls and I'm going to be working on another video actually, but on our way there, we're going to talk about five things that I hate about my Talaria thing. Let's jump into it. It is a beautiful Friday afternoon and I uh, got an awesome ride I'm going on tomorrow and uh, it's, an, it's a hooligan ride. It's gonna be fun. So um, yeah, just cruising through Oregon City on this Friday afternoon, talking to you guys about my Talaria. And we will start with the rear shock bushing. The rear shock bushing uh, fitment is trash. I don't know what happened there, you guys, in the uh, design process or what have you, if you guys are trying to cut costs by not um, you know, milling out um, undersized bushing uh, to fit the shaft or whatever. But yeah, there's slop in the back bushing, and I think it's on all the bikes. I've heard other people talk about it and whatnot. So, just uh, not that great in my opinion. And maybe at some point I'll pull it out and try to punch out a bushing that actually fits it uh, properly to address that problem. So that's uh, number one, folks. Would be the rear uh, shock uh, bushing. So. Uh, jump into the next one while we're on suspension and that's going to be the front fork and i know you know there is an option um but it's not available right now you can get the manitou fork or whatever it's called it starts with an m <laughs> it's a word i can't pronounce but it's an inverted fork it's supposed to be better than this uh killer rst fork or whatever you call it but this fork i mean i know there's you know production stuff or whatever you know production cost and that kind of thing but yeah i don't know um you know that that other fork does add more cost to the bike but uh i i think if both were available when i bought this one and knowing what i know now i would have for sure uh, spent the extra money and got the better fork because uh, this fork's weird man like it gets dirty and then it starts sticking it's kind of hard to explain i did put that oil on it and i think the oil is helping but um it's just still overall it's just not not that good so not that good let's cruise through here and see what's up so number three, here's the Oregon City Tower, or, or no, Oregon City Tower. Yeah, Oregon City Tower. Oregon City Elevator is what it is. And that's the Oregon City Bridge out there. And we're kind of making our way to the Willamette Falls. But the third thing is uh, the build quality. And I know some of you guys have seen my video of my headset bearings in here that were not packed with grease. And the top one was rusting out. And... Um, Hi guys but that's not that's not what I'm really complaining about the overall build quality of it so for instance some of the nuts and bolts on this bike are so tight you can't even hardly get them off so and then other bolts are you know completely loose like almost finger tight so it's kind of weird like yeah some of the bolts were loose some of them are over tight it's just it's kind of weird you know my oil my gear oil was supposed to be like between 125 and 150 milliliters i think and it only had like 50 milliliters in it again like if i knew about all this stuff like probably would have addressed all these items straight out of the box um so if you guys are listening you guys are buying one or you have one i would totally go through and check all your nuts and bolts and make sure you know a lot of them had loctite where they're supposed to be so that was good um and check the oil in your um gearbox because i only had 50 milliliters of oil in my gearbox so and i mean again i'm just going off the manual what that says so yeah that's a build quality all right folks number four on the list is going to be fenders or lack thereof <laughs> so there's not really a rear fender on this bike and it this bike will just spray mud everywhere on you and there's it comes with a front fender but the front fender only lasted about maybe 10 miles or so so i don't know oh and in case you guys are wondering i've had this bike about a month and i've had i have over 200 miles on it i'm not sure, exactly sure how many miles but whew, we can check right now and see but yeah so my front fender only lasted you know the first time i took it on the trail it um it broke and it was cheesy to begin with anyways so i got this amazon fender and i ended up making something for the rear but yeah that's kind of uh another thing that i hate about this bike is it doesn't come with fenders 
Oh, there it is at the bottom. 225 miles that I've had, have on this bike so far. And like I said, I've had about a month. I think actually today is my one month anniversary. It's a Friday and I got it on a Friday. So there you go. One month anniversary video today. So <laughs> pretty cool. Got it. Got to hit the start button. So yeah, fenders, fenders, fenders. All right, guys, number five, number five. <laughs> this thing really is nice. Number five is gonna be support or kind of like slash parts or whatever. So uh, I live in Oregon, I'm close to Portland and I purchased this bike from a dealer in uh, Utah. And after I purchased the bike from him, um, communication was kind of like meh. And he has no parts, and I don't know if he's even gonna carry parts. So, as some of you guys know, right now my battery tray is broken, so, and I can't even get that. Now, thank goodness e Zilla reached out to me, and I gotta just give them a big shout out. Those guys are awesome. Um, they're actually like gonna help me with the battery tray and get that stuff. And if you guys don't know, they're an authorized dealer for Canada. Uh, for these bikes so again those is just a great group of group of guys and i feel thankful that i have them but again you know that's in canada and it's not like i can just drive my bike to their shop and say hey can you fix this or can you check this out so like for instance if i had a failure within the controller or something like who's going to help me fix this you know i would send it to them for sure i would have to send you know my parts to them and and whatnot but um it's just kind of like makes you wonder like hmm what would really happen if you know this happened or what about warranty like would you you know who's gonna honor the warranty is there a warranty like what's going on with the warranty you know i don't know so i kind of feel that when you buy this bike it's 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 on you you're buying it as is kind of and that's kind of the way i feel with it that's why i wasn't really like freaked out when i broke the battery tray i'm like uh, i'm just gonna have to wait till parts are available uh they may be available in about a month from now in canada <laughs> so um yeah it's kind of like you know Something to just be aware of if you guys get these bikes, you know, they're pretty durable and a lot of the parts are interchangeable with other bikes. So that's a good thing. But, um, you know, so anyways, I hope that this video helped inform you guys. And again, these are just my opinions and uh, your results may vary, but um, yeah, there you go. There you go. Five things I hate about my Talaria, but I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I still love this thing. It's still awesome. Look forward to a five things I love about this bike too. So that'll be coming up. So until next time, folks, Oregon Motorcycle.